behind Boris, top left of your screen. He's not sitting in the chair. Big point number three. Advantage Becker. with the first break of the second set. And now we'll serve for the two-set lead at 5-3. From the All-England Club, the 1988 Lawn Tennis Championship brought to you by McDonnell Douglas, giving America its money's worth in aerospace and information systems. By Citicorp, because Americans want to succeed, not just survive. By AT&T, the right choice. And by Michelob. One taste will tell you why the night belongs to Michelob. Eighth game of both sets. Becker breaking Lendl. And now he serves for two sets to love lead. Well, you would expect, uh, knowing their reputations, that those numbers would be reversed. Eight aces, two double faults for Lendl, the other way around, and Becker only two aces and six double faults. Only have two aces. That really shows how off Becker's been on his first serve. Opportunity for Lendl. The lob was his play, all right. Remember that match with McEnroe at the U.S. Open last year when he just used that top spin lob? So destructive and so accurate. Two points from the set. Bob Brett, Becker's coach. And Jan Tiriak, the manager. The money wheels are rolling on that head. I've said it before, Boris is acting just a little casual. Now, don't you drive this ball? No, pop it up and see what Ivan will do with it. Because I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> yes, almost as if he's toying with him. One set point saved by Lendl. 40, 30. Well, Stefan Edberg in the first semifinal rallied from two sets down, but you really don't get the feeling that Becker is going to be beaten after a two-set lead. Oh. 
Now, let's see where Lendl stands. He's decided to go back to the up close. I think he's wise. Yeah. You'd be a good coach, Collins. Use that chip. Deuce. Let's watch it. Good play. Just, it really is a bunt. But it's going to bother people on grass. Point three. Now Becker's doing something. I wonder why players don't do that more often. When the turf gets torn up like that, a baseball player, if he sees a divot on the infield, he'll go up and smooth it out. They'll walk right over just pieces of grass, divots pulled up, not try to tamp them down, and they ask for a bad break against themselves. So Absolutely. Becker. There's okay. the ace. Well, the first set ended in a double fault Lendl. The second ends in an ace for Becker. It's cool. It's me, a sparkling treat. You've never seen anything like this. Hey, we sparkle. We're a new sparkle track for kids. We taste cool and we sparkle. Let me show you the way. Give us a try and we'll sparkle up your gun. And I can love the sparkle treat. Behind this trademark is a century of tradition. Wimbledon, your assurance of quality. This is the Wimbledon racket, dynamically weighted and balanced for greater maneuverability and larger sweet spot, right in the center of the racket where it belongs. A new dimension and power that puts you in the winner's circle. The racket of the future is now available in America's leading sports and tennis stores. The art of investment and financial security requires painstaking preparation. Bold strokes influenced by a mastery of expertise, creative approaches to annuities and mutual funds, innovative forms of insurance and comprehensive health services. As one of the strongest diversified financial experts, we have the capabilities to turn the business of investment into an art. The travelers, you're better off under the umbrella. Seats quickly, please. At one break of service in the second set was enough, and Becker has a two-set lead, 6-4, six, 6-3. Six, Lendl had four break points, unable to convert in the second set. The first semifinal, Miloslav Mechiers won the first two sets, and then Edberg rallied and took the final three and moves to the finals. Now, that is the... It's in play, I think. Oh. No. <laughs> 15 love. A few inches wide. Well, if you're Lendl, bud, do you try anything different strategically, or do you just try to stay with your game plan, hope that you can beat Becker? Becker really hasn't served that well and still has a two-set lead. He's had a lot of opportunities. First serve. Lendl has not put enough first serves in, but when he decided he would go three-quarter speed, Becker murdered the ball. He really has to put in his serves, as he did against Mayotte, first serves with power. And I don't know whether it's the toss that's bothering him, but he hasn't done it. Staring into the crowd, waiting for someone to calm. 15 love. Number nine. Here's the word uh, we've received. Martina Navratilova, who retired after down a set and four all retired. There was a rain delay. She had played an earlier match with Emilio Sanchez. She said that the late hour, she was tired, felt a little pull in her leg, and with the importance of tomorrow, drops out of the mixed doubles. 
So that was an American pair, Gretchen Rush Majors and Kelly Jones, the beneficiaries. And the second time they've benefited from a walkover or a retirement in the match, their last round, the same as Mortensen and Sure Larson were unable to compete. 40, 15. So Jones and Majors into the semifinals in the mixed. Game to Lendl to open this third set, but it's game Boris game. Becker in command. First game, third set. We love visiting America. Hot dog. Fried chicken. Pizza. Bus, we're glad you have Geopecte. Geopecte. New maximum strength Geopectate tablets. Nothing relieves diarrhea and cramps faster. The diarrhea specialist. goes beneath the skin to actually heal itches and rashes. You know, itches and rashes won't last if you use Cordate first. You really have to be careful out there. The road's full of surprises. Since I got Michelin, I feel in control. Sure of myself and my car. Look, no tire can stop surprises. I know. But with Michelin, you can be ready for them. Welcome back. Becker serving an ace to start his service game. Love one in the third. It was uh -oh. Becker's fourth ace. That's one of the few passages in which he's put in two first serves. And if he's going to start first serving, you can put on the dinner, Mom. Becker, one all. One game all. Gee, the net cord favors the once and possibly future champion. Wendell must be agonizing over that serve. Love 15. You won't see a calmer, better stroke backhand than the one coming right, right now. It takes plenty of time. Lendl stretched for everything he had, and he saved two, but not the third. And Becker has a love 30 lead. Becker hit that good forehand to open it up with wings. 
thinking somehow Lando reaches it, or didn't re excuse me, that's the last shot of the rally. Now, Lendl on his second serve has won only 39% of the points. When Becker's had the second serve, and he's had a lot of them, he's won 58% of the points. Shows you the power of Becker's second ball. Oh. This is a backhand recital, this game. First, you've got the measured backhand pass. This starts it with a backhand. Lendl is already dead once the ball dipped on him and then a backhand lob. Well, Becker has shown you all of his artillery now. Good forehand, backhand, ground strokes, and a... Winning lob and Lendl with a perfect volley to erase one of three break points for Becker early in this third set. You just don't sense the body language from Lendl that we saw against Mayotte two days ago. He just doesn't look as if he's the man that can win today. This man does. Break point at one all in the third. Six four six three Becker. Oh, and he raced all three. This. Well, maybe that could turn the emotions around in this <laughs> match. You know, Lendl has played quite a bit on grass, as we've said, but I think what might be throwing his serve off a little bit coming from Paris is that he is not a natural serve and volleyer, and so he knows he's got to go in all the time. And that may be throwing his rhythm off. Because as Becker gives us one more backhand in this Backhandedly glorious game for him. Oh. Ooh, just yes. missed. Becker thought he had the line. He does give you textbook racket preparation, doesn't he, Becker, on both wings? He just gets that racket back so quickly, and he's so braced to make contact. So to play grass court tennis, Lando really has to go against his very nature in every department. A miss hit volley by Yvonne. And three more Becker backhands. Way back there, got some pretty good spin on it. And then comes up with this one, opening up the court. He had done that with the previous stroke, and then that was just a knock down the line. The fifth break point in this game for Becker. Perilous trip for Lendl, but he's had five good answers.
ball didn't bounce at all. And there, <laughs> he was betrayed by a big windup. <laughs> Somehow I think I can identify with that feeling, and I play on hard courts. <laughs> Two one. Got a guy here wants to sell us a desktop publishing system? <laughs> we already have one. Well, he says his is easy to learn. Not easier than ours. Claims that he can rig it to all our computers. We didn't have to rig ours. Says his makes great documents fast. You mean like ours? He says his system makes sense for business. Not for ours. Personal publishing on the IBM Personal System 2. First serve long for Becker, who had a great chance to put this game on ice in the last game. Five break points, couldn't convert. Live from London, nearly 8 o'clock. Becker, a two-set lead. And serving 1-2 here in the fourth. 15 left. Barbara Lloyd has returned to her post, no pun intended. What a brave lady, Barbara Fortescue Lloyd. She was hit by Machir in the first match. She was hit by Lendl in this match. Drive, errant drives. She retired for a moment after the second sculling, but here she is back at the net. Bless her. Gosh, fingers Fortescue. Her great-great-grandfather would be so proud watching down. Let's look at those second serve percentages and points won. Really gives you the indication this late in a match how strong Becker's second serve is to win nearly 60% of the points. Oh, -ho. not a bad return off the first ball. 30, 15. Lendl reads this quite well. And you can tell that it's chilly because all the line judges came in. They just changed the crew and they're wearing overcoats. That figures because now uh, Becker's taken off his sweater. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. Well, he had a good forehand drive on the return, then he just bunts this one back cross court, huh? Nice chip, angled. betrayed Lendl that time. <laughs> she had to duck again. And that Judge Barbara Lloyd. Well, Becker drilled a She's fearless. Lady net judge earlier in this championship and really hit her with a four-end drive. Net court. Two yeah. all. Well, along with the women's championship singles title tomorrow, Groff and Navratilova battling. There'll be other Two action as well. Under you see him shifting the grip for the top spin and he never surrenders.
And here is the final for the doubles. Steffi Graf will have double duty tomorrow. Singles and then doubles teaming with Gabriela Sabatini. They meet the Soviet pair, Larissa Sevchenko and Natalia Zvereva. Fifteen love. With Bud Collins, Dick Kanberg, shortly after 8 o'clock in England, Wimbledon, the semifinals. We've had some rain today, but apparently both matches will be played. Stefan Edberg from two sets down. Defeated Miloslav May Cheers. He's in the finals. And Boris Becker, two-time champion at age 20, looking for his third Wimbledon title as a two-set lead over Yvonne Lendl, two all in the third. Ooh. It's wide. A bit of delicacy. That's the closest thing we've had to a rally in this match. 15 all. The smash was slightly off center. Boris keeps it going. And now he makes Ivan bend more than he'd like to do. Now, the way the light is going, Dick, if Lendl were to win this set, you'd have some doubts about finishing tonight. You know, anyone who's up two sets would not want this match delayed to another day. Thirty all. Boris has already squandered five break points in this set. All in the third game. Now that was a terrific volley by Lendl. Probably his best volley of the day. 40, 30. Coming right in, see him shift his grip. And the smash was easy. It's 3-2 on serve in the third. Any comments on the fight? Yeah, proves who the real champion is. Was it ever close? It was over before it started. Think there'll be a rematch? You think they want one? How about a shot of the two champs together? Diet Pepsi's won the title. In head-to-head -head taste tests, Diet Pepsi challenged and decisively beat Diet Coke. Mike, how do you feel about sharing your title, huh? No problem. Just not sharing my Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi, the undisputed champion. To those Americans who believe they can't find satisfaction in an American-built car, consider this. There's one car company that delivers the highest customer satisfaction of any American car company for overall product quality and dealer service. The car company that brought customer satisfaction back to the American car industry is Chrysler. Maker of Dodge, Chrysler, and Plymouth. Chrysler. We just want to be the best. If you heard the report on 59 cold cereals by a leading consumer magazine, you'd fall through the floor. Mine's high in calcium. And salt. Salt? High in fiber. And sugar. Sugar? Lots of protein. And added fat. Fats? Nabisco shredded wheat was rated tops in nutrition. For no added sugar or salt, low fat, plenty of fiber and protein. Nabisco shredded wheat. Nobody else. Nabisco. First point. 
Game six, Becker with the overhead. That last game, Lendl looked more like the player who went through Tim Mayotte in the quarterfinals. But, but don't you think it's a tip on Lendl not quite being there on grass that he's had seven tiebreak sets in uh, the last three matches? He's had adventures, all right. Yeah, he... But he is really bound and determined to win this championship. Maybe it'll happen. On the Third line. There have been some great players who have never won Wimbledon. Kenny Rosewall and Pancho Gonzalez, to name two. knows the press has been very grudging with Yvonne Lendl even though he's been number one since the US Open of 1985 he knows that to be considered a great player he probably has to win this title got some good news for some XUSA collegians in the mix. Rick Leach of USC, Patty Fendick, Stanford have moved to the semis and will play Kelly Jones, Pepperdine, Gretchen Rush, Majors, Trinity. One of those two mixed doubles teams will make it to the finals on Sunday. Well, I know who you're cheering for. Oh, I don't better cheer not for, say no, I don't cheer for anyone, but I'm just happy that for all of their successes. But if anyone wears a baseball cap on the tennis court at Wimbledon, then I'm cheering for Patty Fendi. <laughs> From Wimbledon, these semifinals being brought to you by Chrysler Motors. We just want to be the best. By Visa, for emergency travel assistance worldwide. It's everywhere you want to be. By USF and Chief Financial Services, asset management tools for a brave new world. And by Minolta Cameras and the new Maxim Series I, intelligent and genius in a world by itself. This is a great shot. I hope to sh show it again. I wanted to show you court 14 out there. Lower right of your screen, court 14. That's where Martina Navratilova, ooh, oh, I don't want to be up there, <laughs> had her great escape against Roz Fairbank. She had never played on court 14 before. Why did she have to go out in the boonies? Well, because she was a day behind. There it is, lower right of your screen. Lots of noise out there. They call it the zoo court. And what a time she had escaping Fairbank out there. That's only because it's right next to our NBC compound. Those are the four new courts, uh, the latest courts here at Wimbledon, and the majority of the other outside courts on the opposite side of center court as you looked at it from that view. Fifteen on. Well, it's ten after eight. Match almost two hours long. Must seem longer for Lendl. But he knows that if he could manage a win here in the third set, one of the good things that could happen for him is that they wouldn't be able to complete their match today. And he'd have a new day to work. And Becker might step 30, in front of a 15. bus. But Lendl also knows that things can change in a blink. 
in a grass court match. A couple of points here or there, a break, a serve. Tom H. Cheers had all those break chances against Edberg in the third and fourth sets, couldn't convert. One, finally, Edberg won. And Becker had those 30 30 off. five chances to break back in game three and couldn't. But you know that this man who came back from two sets down against John McEnroe in the 1984 French final, even though he makes a bad volley here, he has not given up. He will not give up. Now, that was the knock on him earlier in his career. That stuff has passed. We got out of it. I think Yvonne hit a ball that was flying. Oh, in your face tennis there. <laughs> 40, 30. Ooh, half smile. Gonna figure this thing out yet, he says. <laughs> Deuce. First match, uh, Edberg winning in five was over three hours. This one now at the two hour mark. But more importantly, the time of day, 8.13. Dan Lendl holds. as only you see it. You and Minolta Maxim bring creativity to life. The Maxim System. Only from the mind of Minolta. This has been the big game of this match, the eighth game. It was here that Becker broke Lendl both in the first and the second sets to take those sets, 6-4, 6-3. Lendl has improved his play if he could get a break here then he could have the chance to serve off the, the set. match yeah uh-huh oh, 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 there's a break that's the seventh double fold for boris to go with four aces <laughs> boris hasn't concentrated in this set as well as in the past he's had chances
Now Becker, who doesn't mind oh, diving and hitting the ground, doesn't like this slip. It cost him a possible chance. Oh, the sit downs are no good. Lindell has not had a break point in this fourth set or third set. <laughs> Go. Now there's three break points for Lindell. What is there about this eighth game? Love 40. Lindell concentrating heavily. A lot of top spin makes the ball dip, and Boris is in the old dark corner, triple breaker. This is when you're facing Becker. You know you're going to get his very best now. Oh. How many times does he do it? He comes up with a big serve. Ace or winner. 15-40. Coach Roach with Samantha Frankel. Come on, Tony. Wake up. It's a good point. Service winner and an ace is fifth, and quickly two break chances for Lindell are moved aside. And for Yvonne Lindell, this point might be his hope. able to serve out a tough game when Becker had five break points and Becker goes from love 40 to deuce in a hurry. Aggressive and advantage Becker. Charging behind the second ball, taking the volley off the volley. game in the entire match and in a love 40 situation Boris Becker calls upon the big gun it's for all second ball ace Warren Bosworth the Springer Blackman man for Yvonne thank you Sue and Tony Roach and great and good friend Samantha Frankel up there Second ball. I think Boris is in gear now. 
having survived his greatest crisis in the match. And that has spurred him. Look at those eyes. <laughs> What a discouraging game. If Ivan discourages, that was a discouraging game. Mm -hmm. To do everything he did to get to love 40 and have it just wrenched away from him. What is Boris doing? <laughs> He's had a cake. Fifteen all. Boris seems to be just having a little fun here. Too high? No, well, just pop it back, half volley it. <laughs> I'd like to see Jan Jiriak's face on that. Because he accuses his protege of fooling around a little too much sometimes. In those situations. Lendl talked about being great and being happy, and his answer reflected, I'm sure, his upbringing and what's inside the man. Thirty, fifteen. Lendl said, if you become great, then you can become happy. If you're happy first, it's much more difficult to be great. There's some wisdom in that, but also some uh, tough emotional battles. 40, 15. Four all, 40-15, third set. Becker leads by two sets. Game one. Minute. Together, there is the airline of business. Throughout the U.S. and 13 foreign lands, the airline trusted by business travelers for a half century and more. United Airlines, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. First point goes to Becker at 4-5. Now Lindell's moved back again. First service. Well, from this angle, 
you can appreciate really how tough it is for the man returning serve on Becker, how quickly that ball's on you. That's another first ball, so Becker can lean into it. How many of those do you think you'd hit back? <laughs> now the second ball is where he puts the kicker on it. It doesn't have the velocity, but he'll get the great bounce. 15 all. Eight double faults. And in case you weren't with us earlier for the conclusion of that comeback by the 22-year-old Swede, Stefan Edberg. Uh, Miloslav made cheers with an early two-set lead, but Edberg rallied 6-4. And the match point was certainly a delightful one. If you get a chance, we'll give you another look at it. Well, if you read the the mood of the crowd here at center court and compare it to what we saw two days ago cash and Becker it's just wide for the feeling the speed of the game in the cash Becker match even in the third set with cash down two sets there was an excitement and a feeling that it, this one wasn't over, but this crowd has acted since uh, early on, way before this third set, that it's just a matter of fact that this was Becker's on his way to the finals, and let's just see how the script is written. And I guess with that kind of weaponry, Becker isn't going to disappoint them. It's five all. Lendl. Seemingly Five headed toward a tie break. That seems the course. And if so, and playing the if game, if Lendl should Quiet, win this please. set, bud, Thank you. I don't see how far they could go into a fourth set. 8.28 right now. Except it is lightening up again. The latest I ever saw them play here was about quarter of 10 one year, finishing the mixed doubles in the dark. On this, they used to finish the tournament on Saturday then. Wonderful stuff. Next. For service. Fifteen all. Former champion, 1977, Virginia Wade. Up in the members box with Peter Jackson, Mike Hahn. She's the only woman on the championships committee. Empty seats down at that end. Now well, this day was so threatening in the morning, many of us felt we wouldn't have any play. Rain very hard through the morning hours till noon. Then it cleared enough so that the first match started at two, and they just managed to finish before another storm hit. Edberg had just won in five, and these two men had come on the court were 
Warming up and the rains hit again, another hour delay, and that's why the late hour now, 8.30, and only in the third set. And some of the folks, a long day anyway, or discouraged by the weather, may have headed home. Becker thought that was didn't long. Like it didn't like to call it all. It did look long. By Phil Hardy. Well, the machine reads that foot, foot and a half, and little rain dropping now. I don't know where that's coming from. It's blue skies <laughs> over our heads. But being blown in from a cloud off in the distance, I guess. 40-15. Well, that toss was way off. Shown a great backhand in this match. What is his weakness, Becker? Maybe the forehand volley. False. Oh. Yeah, that was as long as the one that Becker argued about before. And Richard Kaufman made the call, not the service linesman. Kaufman in the chair. One of the men's tennis console umpires, a pro. Lendl staying back, though. And then late coming to the net. Deuce. Deuce. for the first time in a long time. That's the sense of uh, desperation from the Lendl fans. A deuce at five all. Terrific volley by Lendl, and maybe just as good a shot from Becker because the ball didn't bounce. He had to readjust and hit that forehand. Really in control there is balance to make that play. Backhand return, put him in position for it. that result out of such a good serve. Boy, stroke that smoothly.
Advantage Lindley. Well, even though Becker does have a big forehand, he's been so hot on the backhand wing that maybe that's the place to play it for Lindell. The best place would be to keep it close to the body if you can. Shoot at the hip. Good low return. Ivan did well to get that much depth on the volley, but he had closed fatefully to within feet of the net. The top spinner. Ace for Lendl, his third. Advantage Lendl. But Mendel holds six five. At Citicorp, we believe it takes people with vision to help people with dreams. So many of our people come from fields beyond banking. Untypical bankers, untypical thinking has made us America's largest financial services company. As Citicorp and Citibank, we're already helping one in five American families. We'd like you to get to know us better. Citicorp, because Americans want to succeed, not just survive. Are you getting more than you want out of your high fiber cereal? Like sodium and added sugar? If what you want out of your high fiber cereal is high fiber, you should be eating Fiber One. You get more fiber with Fiber One, and Fiber One is low in sodium and has absolutely no added sugar. So get more of the fiber your body needs and less of the stuff it doesn't. Get Fiber One. Our forces need air support right at the front. So McDonnell Douglas builds the Harrier II. To stop the paper blizzard, our information systems provide data for one of every four U.S. hospitals. We're testing aircraft with new jet engines that cut fuel consumption over 40%. We're giving America its money's worth in aviation, space, and information systems. We're McDonnell Douglas. Becker serving five, six, and the third. Love 15. Lendl can afford to go for some shots here. The worst he can do is be in a tie break. Exactly, Dick. He's three points from the set. And that first forehand winner may have been a message he sent out to Boris. All. It's wide. It was a wonderful sound to Boris. Jocelyn O'Donovan's voice calling out. Becker confirming the ball was out. Fifteen. 
Ray Bailey struck in the line of duty. Just popping the ball down the line nicely, and Boris with a forehand volley didn't do anything with it. Please. Thank you. That court makes you think this is Boris's court. Well, a point away from a tie break. Lendl's had plenty of those in this championship. Looking ahead is three and four in tie breaks. Becker's had only one. Sammy Jim Elbow, closest to winning a, a set from Becker in the championship. <laughs> Loads it up. Deuce. First player to seven points by two. And if it's Becker, he's in the finals against Stefan Edberg. Lendl, should he win this tie break, might force play to be continued tomorrow. Please. It's almost 845. Thank you. Lendl had two tie break wins in his straight set. Elimination of Tim Mayot, the last round. Prior to that, he was one and four in tie breaks in this tournament. Yeah. We understand as Lendl wins the first point. One zero. Lendl. That Alan Mills, the referee, has already indicated that if Lendl wins the tie break, they will stop play. Third knockdown of Boris today. And they would complete play tomorrow prior to the women's championship. That's a thoughtful decision to be thinking if I stretch it out in the middle of a fourth, should it go there and risk players making a mistake in the dark? So that decision has been made. Good decision. Ooh. One off. Good hustle by Lendl to keep that point alive.
This is sudden death for Lendl. Yeah, they both must uh, pretty well have it figured out. Either Becker wins the tie break and the match and on to the finals, or Lindell wins this tie break and they hold play and finish it tomorrow. Oh. Didn't take long for Becker to get the break back. Two all. One serve at this end, and then we'll change ends after the sixth point. That's the major difference in this match. That ultimately, when they get to a second serve, Becker still hits winners. That's his seventh ace of the match, where Lendl's percentage is well under 50 percent. The serve, second ball. the serve has separated them. So they change ends at three all. Why, please? Thank you. Becker four points from the final Sunday. Lendl. Four points from a continuation tomorrow. Two serves now for Lendl with the lead for three. Second time, Lendl gets a, a point lead, and 
Becker gets it right back. And there was a the difference. Second serve for Lendl. Becker loads up and has a winning forehand. Thank you. Becker's second service was an ace. Two chances to get his seven. Right down the line. And playing against Lendl's second serve once more has put Boris in position. Clock, please. Clock, please. Thank you. Finals on Becker's racket. Quiet, but couldn't complete the volley. Another life for Lendl. Thank you. Second match point, Becker. of you do Lendl's problems on second serve. <laughs> second serve. See Becker moving around uh, Quiet, giving please. Lendl something extra to think about as Quiet, he makes please. his toss. Point save. Quiet, and what has been a routine semifinal for much of this match, dramatically interesting here in this third set tiebreak with Becker up two sets. Completed by Lendl. What a half volley. Well, he survived a match point against Mark Woodford. And now oh, he survived two. Thank you. And now Lendl has his first set point. Kick. 
So Becker mixing it up. That's normally the serve he gives you on the second ball. Quiet, please. And for a moment it appeared Blendel had read it just right and had the set. there. Now each time they exchange their two serves, it'll either be a set point or a match point. And now for Becker, his third match point. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Thank you. Again, the decision has already been made. Should Becker not win this set and the match? Play will be stopped and completed tomorrow before the women's final. Lendl is behaving like the number one player in the world as we get right down to the end of the wick. Quiet, please. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. still can't help himself with the first serve. Doing it the hard way. <laughs> but unquestionably, Bud, he has saved his very best tennis for this tiebreak. He's made three magnificent volleys. And then that half baller. Second set point. Quiet, please. Thank you. the court Lendl's hopes for a Wimbledon championship still alive however faint they certainly have grown in a couple of ways as 10 8 10 point state in the tie break leaves him down two sets to one to Becker but he has some time now to think it through and they'll start play tomorrow at two o'clock and we'll have that for you live as part of our breakfast at Wimbledon the completion of this semifinal match and then the women's final and so a highly entertaining semi-final day for the men on center court Wimbledon. And the crowd will acknowledge the efforts of these two. We'll return in a moment. This is NBC News Digest. Here is Ann Rubenstein. Good afternoon. Secretary of Defense Frank Carlucci has suspended payments on a billion dollars worth of defense contracts he says are tainted by allegations of bribery and fraud. The action affects four major contractors. President Reagan signed a landmark catastrophic health care bill greatly expanding Medicare, but he warns that since the elderly will be paying for the program, costs must be kept under control. The drought in the farm belt is still serious, according to Agriculture Secretary Richard Ling, but if the Midwest gets some rain, he says there could still be large harvests. I'm Ann Rubenstein in Los Angeles. More news later on NBC Nightly News. 
Agriculture Secretary Richard Ling said today that the drought in the Farm Belt still is very, very serious, but he said there still could be large harvest if rain does come. I'm Tom Brokaw. I'll see you tonight on NBC Nightly News. In the next 12 months, NBC will bring you four television classics, the Summer Olympics, the World Series, the Super Bowl, and the Cosby Show. We'll have to wait a few months for the sporting events, but the Cosby Show remains an American classic every Thursday night. To get to California, much of the fresh bargain brand chicken you see at the market has to travel across eight states, about 2,500 miles. So while their trip to market takes up to five days, our trip to market takes only hours. California-grown foster farms. Now, which chicken do you think is fresher? Yeah, proves who the real champion is. Was it ever close? It was over before it started. Think there'll be a rematch? You think they want one? How about a shot of the two champs together? Diet Pepsi's won the title. In head-to-head -head taste tests, Diet Pepsi challenged and decisively beat Diet Coke. Mike, I didn't get a...